Carcinoid Syndrome and Tumors Overview and Key Concepts In this video, we will discuss carcinoid tumors and carcinoid syndrome, which are important topics in understanding neuroendocrine tumors. Carcinoid tumors are most commonly found in the small intestine, particularly the ileum, and they can also occur in other areas like the lungs, pancreas, and thyroid. These tumors are made up of specialized neuroendocrine cells, which can secrete substances like serotonin and calocrine into the bloodstream. Normally, these substances are metabolized in the liver before they can affect the rest of the body. However, in cases where the tumor metastasizes to the liver, or if it originates outside the gastrointestinal tract, these substances bypass the liver and enter the systemic circulation, causing carcinoid syndrome. Now, carcinoid syndrome happens when the vasoactive substances, like serotonin, reach the bloodstream and cause symptoms. These symptoms can include flushing of the skin, where the patient may experience a reddish warm sensation, typically on the face and upper body. Another common symptom is secretory diarrhea, which is watery and voluminous, often leading to dehydration. Abdominal cramps, nausea, and vomiting are also frequent, making the condition quite uncomfortable. Some patients may develop wheezing, which is due to bronchoconstriction or narrowing of the airways. In some cases, the patient can develop carcinoid heart disease, which leads to right-sided heart failure. This is because the fibrous tissue deposits that form on the heart valves, especially on the right side, disrupt normal heart function, leading to conditions like tricuspid insufficiency and pulmonic valve stenosis. Now, carcinoid syndrome is often diagnosed through tests that detect an increase in 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid, 5-HIAA, in the urine. This is a breakdown product of serotonin, and measuring it can help confirm the presence of a carcinoid tumor. Blood tests looking for specific tumor markers, like chromogranin A, serotonin, and neuron-specific analase, can also provide helpful information. Imaging studies such as CT scans or somatostatin receptor scintigraphy are essential for localizing the tumor and detecting metastasis, especially to the liver. In terms of treatment, managing carcinoid syndrome typically involves octreotide, a medication that mimics somatostatin and inhibits the release of serotonin and other hormones produced by the tumor. If the tumor is localized, surgical resection is often the best approach to remove the tumor and prevent further complications. In cases where surgery isn't possible or the tumor has spread, chemotherapy with drugs like 5-fluorouracil and doxorubicin may be used. Additionally, since the breakdown of tryptophan into serotonin can lead to a niacin B3 deficiency in patients with carcinoid syndrome, pellagra can develop. This condition causes symptoms like diarrhea, dermatitis, and dementia, which are commonly referred to as the three Ds of pellagra.